in a, a green sock. I like dressing orange like orange sock and a black sock or something retarded, yeah. nigga. Like what? I, I like dressing like be. Adam Sandler, bro. I just don't give a damn. You definitely don't give a damn. I don't give a like, damn. Motherfuckers be like, yo, you know you got, you know you got Mitch Matt socks mm -hmm. on, right? Yeah, I do. This he be like, damn. Oh, you got Mitch Matt socks on? Take up my number. Oh. <laughs> Right, he, he adventurous. <laughs> nah, they, 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 they say with well, a nigga with Miss Bad Socks or some shit, they got some, you know, they got good wood. That's what I heard. So that's oh, what Lord. Right. Best Conversations oh, Podcast. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your host, Killer TV, High Definition Vaughn. Killer be the name. No, that's how you got it. Yes, yes. I've been waiting yeah. for that, my boy. <laughs> Look at <laughs> back. Chill. Yo, yes, sir. What's happening, man? What's good, world? Properly introduce yourself. Where have you been? Man, trapping. Trapping. Nah, I ain't, you know, hustling, man. Uh, making moves, man. Introduce yourself. But it's your boy, man, Mr. Rello the Prince. Mr. Don't know what the fuck gonna come out of his mouth next, man. Mr. Mr. Flyness himself, man. What's good, world? What's popping? Yes, sir. Rello the Prince back up in this motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> and you know we can't do this shit alone ever. New Your future, future flash. flash. Yeah. Boy, I've been waiting to say that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I've been to say that shit. I promise What's you. up, my boy? What's up? What's up? It's been a long time. It has, man. Yeah, man. I seen, I seen my dog out there hustling, Dreamville, doing this super engineering shit, man. How, how'd all that shit come about? Bro, believe it or not, it was like just a text. Like somebody just hit us up in the DMs and was like, um, I heard you guys are a media company. Do you guys have an audio engineer? And then Ralph gave him my information. And then um, she was like, I need I need you from this time to this time. I didn't know what it was. So I was like, okay. I asked what the payment was. She told me that. I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah, right. And then when I got there, it was like an Amazon music thing. Mm -hmm. So I didn't even know like I was going to be on TV or none of that shit. So I was just I was chilling. And then Sam, I don't, I don't know if you know him, but he hit me up sending me all these texts like, bro, you on TV. And he was sending me all the screenshots and stuff. I was like, damn. OK. But it was dope. pretty lit, yeah. No future flame. Because that was like a private location type shit, right? Um, I think it was open to the public. You had to buy a ticket, but it was at the cam. Yeah, the cam downtown. Um, so it was yeah. they had like seminars, like JID did a seminar, uh, Rhapsody did a seminar. A lot of the producers that work on a lot of the Dreamville projects, yeah. they were all doing seminars and stuff. And um, we just had, uh, they had sets sets built. So they had uh, like J. Cole's, I think, first album, you know, the lockers. And we yeah. had the Letterman jacket. They had mm -hmm. that set built so you could put the Letterman jacket on and take a picture and make your own album cover. Mm -hmm. And then they had a set design of his bedroom built. Okay. And they had a booth in there. Oh, and I was it. running the booth and it was like an actual working booth. So people was going in there freestyling yeah. and stuff. So it was pretty lit. Yeah, dope. dope oh, yeah, I basically had a ball in there. It was fun as hell. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know it was. Fun fun as hell. All right, man. And you and we can't and and we didn't and we didn't come along. No, nope. we didn't come along. Your favorite internet comedian <laughs> slash Mr. Viral himself. <laughs> Mr. Viral himself. Mr. Viral himself. Bama got jokes back on this motherfucker. <laughs> what's, up, <man? laughs> what's up? What's up, man? Yeah. Got jokes, man. Chris, what's what's going on, my brother? Not much, man. Congratulations on five hundred thousand followers. Appreciate it, man. Man, that's, that's crazy, man. I'm gonna tell still... you now. You be having my phone going off all oh, times of <laughs> day, all times of night. Anything, yeah, anything. Yeah. This nigga tagged him, man. Just like, bing, bing. Who the fuck? Bing, is bing, yeah, bing, yeah, bing. All bing. times of night, all times of day. Like, I be, I be at the trap, got my music going and shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? We cool and shit. I'm on the forklift and shit. It go low, then come back. They be like, bro, what's going on with your phone? I look at my watch, Instagram, right. such and such, like, like the uh, video, such and such. I like, damn. That's why, that's why God I cut damn off it, Bama. <laughs> yeah, like, I cut them off. Cause it's too much. It's overwhelming. It's overwhelming. I, was, yeah. it's I see. Overwhelming. I see now what y'all talking about. I it's love it though. I yeah. love it. I yeah, love yeah, it. yeah, man. So welcome back, Bama man. What's welcome up? back, man. Um, <laughs> seen you at Dreamville for a quick, for a quick right. second. I was trying right. to get to you. Right. I took right. I took my daughter to Dreamville, so I had to be on extra high alert for yeah. anything. Yeah. Right. And I was looking for you the first day. I'm like maybe. We can get some content or something and, and do something, and then I couldn't find you the first day. Probably then, because that camo. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga blended in. My home, on. my home girl, my home girl seen you twice. She was like, "Your boy from the podcast, he out here look like he about to kill deers." <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, "Yeah, that's that's just Bama style. Like right, that's just man. how that how, how Bama rock." 
Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, he'll wear a damn polo shirt with gym, uh, basketball shorts. Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. So how'd you enjoy Dreamville, man? Man, I, it was, my legs hurt. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to start off by saying that. My legs hurt. But I feel like, I feel like it was it was good. It yeah, was the good. one them Teletubby hills. Yeah, them, them, right? bro, them Teletubby hills. Dreamville got this one spot where it's like Teletubby hills. Like you got to go up and down, over it, and around. Like it's crazy, bro. Nobody in fall, did they? Oh yeah, it was people out there laid laid <laughs> <laughs> out, bro. I could. Uh, yeah, uh, but you had to bring a blanket, man. Or they wouldn't let chairs in. I don't think. No, yeah. my neighbor. Right before I go, right. Before I get there, my neighbor is like telling me, oh, yeah, you can bring chairs in. You can bring chairs in. Yeah, I'm about to bring my lawn chair in. I look at this dude. Oh, I look can't. at him. I'm like, bro, you cannot bring your chair in. Don't even wait. I wish I would have bet him. You should have bet him. I, 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 should, I wish I should have right. bet him. I was like, bro, you cannot bring your chair in. Hey, bro, you bring your chair in. I was like. It was some ladies yeah. who snuck some in there though. No, like they, how you they, stick a chair? But that chair's like come. Oh like, close. no 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 no! That wasn't a chair. I seen that shit well, on the line. You saw that? What, yeah, what, what is it? That was like it was like a um air thing. Like you blow it up. Like it, yeah yeah. Oh, she had a whole, blow up. She had a like a blow like a blow up mattress. And she like she a, blow, a blow up chair. Like a blow up chair. Right. Yeah. Oh okay. And that bitch had the motherfucking back on it and everything. Yeah, like yeah. she brought that. She in basically there. had like a living room, like an air yeah. living room set. How I'm about to bring that. Wait a minute. How, <laughs> the fuck did, how the fuck she blow that shit up out there? Right. Right. You need. You need yeah, air. You need some CO two or well, something. She got you need extra some oxygen. Air. <laughs> Boy, she got she got the jaws of life. Right. Mm. Jesus. Damn. Yeah. Maybe a yeah. foot pump. Yeah, you right. Or like a tire oh, pump. Maybe, so maybe had a pump on on the thing already. Battery charge shit. Yeah. I don't know, but I seen it. I definitely seen it. Well, I, I definitely seen it. I mean, it. shit. Well, and some had the one where you catch the air mm -hmm. and then roll it up, and yeah. you can lay on it. Yeah, you saw those. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I definitely seen some fascinating shit. Probably some fascinating shit. Like people just like just sleep. Yeah, just like sleep in the in the lawn in a blanket like. Like yeah, being out there all day is a lot, bro. I had to bring that blanket, bro. Yeah, being out to. being out there all day is a lot. You know, we ain't got that special access like uh hey, new it future, was like, like new future it flash. Was funny because when I hit you up, when I hit you up, you was like, man, I ain't coming on five this day. I'm See, like, I, yo, five, <laughs> yo, because yeah. I was there all day Saturday. Oh yeah, you was out oh, there all day. What all time day you Saturday. get out there? Saturday. Uh, what time to start? Twelve. Uh, yeah, I, think I guess so. I probably got there like one. No, she, I didn't. Only person I probably didn't see was like Damani. I got out there once. The dude with the flowers he had the flowers with the mic. Who is that? He had the flowers in the mic. He had like a. It was on some punk shit. Oh, he was wearing all black. Or something? All black and shit. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, whoever I saw, that was. I heard Damani walking in. Oh, you heard Damani walking yeah, so in. So I got there before you probably. Yeah, you got there way before right. me. I yeah. knew. I, I didn't want to hit Damani's uh well, he's straight though. Well, he, he is straight. He he is straight. Like I a... seen him the second day walking around Dreamville. So okay. what time did you leave? What? Sunday morning or Saturday night? What you mean? I left it's you it's not like overnight. I know that. Oh <laughs> you said you go you was out there late, so No, I mean it they ended needed. ended like midnight. Oh, okay. They need to treat it like Coachella, bro, because Coachella they be written RVs and staying at the venue. Yeah. yeah. Like what? Or you can set up like the tent and yeah, shit. Yeah, people be having yeah. RVs but, but and Coachella's stuff. a lot bigger too. Yeah, hell yeah, hell so. yeah. Raleigh probably not having that. Yeah, hell no. Because <laughs> we have so many rules out here. That's why, I don't know, if you said you left before J. Cole finished. Yeah. yeah. But he was on stage like, uh, they're trying to, Raleigh saying that we need to, you know what I'm saying, yeah, shut down. And shut I mean, because yeah. you got to think where it's For the people around, yeah, exactly. the people, old the people, they still, they was complaining last year because the noise is too loud. I mean, you got to think, where I used to live at, Mm -hmm. New Bern Ave, right? Mm -hmm. That's not, I know that's not far from what was it, Dorothy Dix Park, mm -hmm. and it's like what damn near downtown, if I'm not mistaken, mm -hmm. if, from what I remember. Right from where I was at, right there it. at four, the 440 Belt Line, I was able to hear that shit. Mm -hmm. but my I thing know. is, my thing is that that festival brings millions like, of dollars, two hundred million to the city. To the That's city, crazy. Like, who give a shit? Right, that, they don't weekend, care about them. You can't, you can't hear music, like right. right. Go to bed. I mean, it didn't bother, <laughs> of course, it didn't bother me at all. It was just like I know if I was able to hear or something like that. Of course, you know, you got yeah. the older folks that was going to say something about it, but I didn't. Know, I ain't give a fuck. Like, shit, right. I was in that bitch high shit listening to music. Shit. O overall, my Dreamville experience, I give it about a six. 
Yeah, yeah this get, year. This year, first one. This is my first one. Okay. First one. By, Last by, year was like a nine. Yeah, with Drake. That shit was amazing. It was no. And another thing it I didn't like, dope. nobody brought out no special guests. Like, that's what I thought was going Benny on. Benny the Butcher. <laughs> Benny the Butcher. <laughs> okay, Benny, I, Benny would like, the, I would like the Benny yeah, the Butcher. Benny the Butcher and um, Lil Durk. Lil Durk. Oh, and, shit. I forgot about Lil Durk. Oh, buddy. Um, Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Yeah, he was. He was getting there. Yeah, he was already there. Yeah, he was he was already there. On bro, Twitter, he can't yeah. sing, bro. I don't know, oh, yeah. I don't know I, what I, happened. Yeah, I seen those guys. They were cooking his ass. I don't know what happened to his voice, man, or he could never sing, but that shit was like. You remember when they did the verses? Yeah. They were like, he was like, if we. They were like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, that shit was crazy, bro. Um, how was your Dreamville experience? It was fun. Mm-hmm. It was, well, you know what I'm saying? Because I was like working. So working, was, right. It was like a good experience. Like, I don't know if you guys seen Snowfall. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know the crackhead? Yeah. The Afro girl's, uh, Afro dude's girlfriend? Yeah. Mm-hmm. She came into the booth. She was drunk as hell. She actually fell through the back of the booth. Oh. Damn. And there was like a whole bunch of This like, is real life? Yeah, hell yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> I got this shit on my phone, bro. That shit was fucking crazy, bro. And she an uh, uh, actress? She's an actress, yeah. What but she fuck? was she was in there like freestyling and shit, but she was drunk. And she was in there like with like four other girls. They were drunk, and then she just stumbled backwards and fell through the back of that shit. I'm like, damn. <laughs> I mean, but I mean, you gotta think though, because like shit like that, you know, stars they're gonna drink. They're gonna bro, smoke, if I'm a sl- well. when I get put on, bro, I'm gonna be towed up at every event. <laughs> you gonna be looking like, like bam? <laughs> you gonna be looking like glow real the other night? Oh yeah, oh, shit, bro. Like, I felt so, I felt her pain, but she don't give a fuck because she got money. But still, like when I was in that situation. It looked like she. It looked, it, it looked like right. she passed the sobriety test. Yeah, she did. I think, but they said she didn't. That's how they be doing. Yeah, they I was like, like, she looked like she went in a straight line to me. Right when Raleigh had me and him, though, it was like six of them against me. And all of them was like, "Yeah, do that sobriety test." Like, oh, yeah. I passed it though, but they took still took me downtown. That's how they do, and like, I failed it there. <laughs> I'm like, bro, okay. Like that. Yeah, that shit was crazy. I got honestly say I I been hemmed up like that once. Yeah. Just once. And shit, that was military days. Nigga, I was scared. Yeah, you know bro. They mean? Are, they I was scared. Yeah, like, I ain't gonna say it can like I was what, fresh fresh 21. Fresh 21 nigga. Mm. Drunk. I ain't gonna say I was drunk, tipsy, whatever, whatever. Uh my man's in there was about to leave to go down range and stuff. So, you know, we parlaying, taking a couple shots mm-hmm. and stuff. Drunk a couple beers. About 1.30, 2 o'clock, got a text like, yo. Uh, come through. All right, bet I'm on my way back to the barracks. Get on post. Everything, everything. I seen this Tahoe just come out of nowhere. I'm like, oh shit, I know that's the boys. Mm. I that's know what that. I was going I knew, yeah. I, I I knew that was one time. Military police. Like, yeah, MP. Yeah. Soon as I knew it was, like, to remind you, you remember the truck I had? I yeah. had the wheels on it, so I'm sitting there swerving and trying to miss potholes. I'm really, un- like, I'm good. That motherfucker threw the lights. Why are you swerving? I don't see these man fuck motherfucking rims. My yeah. nigga, I ain't trying to dent these motherfuckers again. That's why I'm swerving. He like step out of the car, so I get out the car. I like shit. I know he smelled the alcohol. <laughs> I'm going down. I'm 21. I'm going down. They about to in my career about to be done. I, I passed this a body test. Right. See, I nigga, I nigga looked at me dead in my face like, if I see this truck tonight, you're going to jail. No, you won't either. Bro, I got I, my whole, I parked the car, that motherfucker didn't move to Sunday afternoon. I got my whole interaction <laughs> on the USB drive. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. They, my lawyer sent it to me. So. Wow. Oh, shit. That shit comedy, man. It's funny. Mm. Yeah, they I be, will they post be. it, but I ain't. Yeah, <laughs> he said, hey, yeah. somebody that? will find it. Right, 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 right. Somebody, somebody will find I'm it. Telling oh you. yeah, you post, you post that online. Like right. that shit gonna go viral. All right, let's let's put a cap on Dreamville. Um, Dreamville so Jay, so or DUIs? Dre- yeah, we gonna put a cap on that. <laughs> and DUIs. So J Cole obviously apologized to Dreamville and Ooh. and we, nah. and, we <laughs> and we and we and you know niggas on the internet done talked about this to death. So. I mean, we're gonna put it to bed tonight. We're gonna put it to bed tonight. But okay. but the question is, um, how important is your piece to you? You know what I mean? Like J. Cole applies, he he said he don't want he he wants no mess with the monkey shit. I respect it. I respect it. So how I mean how how important is your piece to you? Absolutely like top twenty, top ten, top yeah. five, top one. That's my number one thing. If when my piece is disrupted. Some shit got to change. Yeah, right. Yeah. Like, if, it's, if it come down to people, work, money, whatever, and my piece is disrupted, and I'm going to the crib dealing with this shit, oh, nah, some shit got to fucking change. 
Cause like when I get through my threshold at my house, that's my peace. Mm -hmm. That's my that's why that's why I go to kick my feet up like my L and just get just reflect on life. That's why I can run to and get my peace and just be calm. But when shit goes home with you, that's when the problem is. That shit probably started going home with him. Like yeah. he got to deal with that shit. Bro said he couldn't sleep. Exactly, that's what, what I'm saying. Like, when your piece is disrupted that bag, listen. When your piece is disrupted that bag, you ain't gonna be able to sleep. You gonna be ready. You gonna be ready to put hands on people or some shit. Like I've had my piece disrupted to a point where I could not sleep at night. I'd yeah. be up like insomnia is a bitch. Yeah, you know what I mean, like especially being prior service military, that shit don't make it no better. Right. You know what I think it was like when I first seen it. I through my phone, I was pissed because I was like hype because I felt like he he was the best one, like in, the most in shape yeah. of all three of them. But then when I started thinking about it and now seeing what Drake did, mm -hmm. I think he know them two really don't like each other. Right. So he's like, if I'm in the Ooh, middle of this, uh, Drake Ken, Kendrick and Jay, uh, Drake, Drake don't don't like each other okay. like, for real, for real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I think he's seeing it. Mm -hmm. and he's like, this ain't gonna be a friendly battle. It's right. gonna yeah. be, it's gonna start because even in that diss record, Drake mentioned Kendrick's wife. Ooh. Yeah, and so I didn't know that. So, for the Whitney, yeah, I, I got a bodyguard oh, like yeah. Whitney because top. I mean, uh, J Rock. They called him Kendrick's bodyguard. Mm -hmm. and there was rumors that they slept together. Like, yeah, his wife and him. I heard some shit about J Rock. So, <laughs> so, uh, so I think J Cole knowing that he's like, yeah. this ain't gonna be my type yeah. of thing. Yeah. So let me just bow out because mm -hmm. it ain't worth it to me. Right, right. right. You know? Yeah, man. I, I definitely, I def I def I def understand bad, it. It's just in my. In my hip hop, <laughs> the hip hop in me is like, nigga, it wasn't that serious. It right, to apologize. Yeah, that's, what, to apologize. that's what I'm about to say. Yeah, hip hop no in a lot of us yeah. was like, wow. this is what the sport need, or this was mm. this is what hip hop needs. But sometimes when when you're talking about your peace, you know, my slogan is peace over people. You know what I, I mean? just like, ignore it. Like just you know what that's I mean. What like, I do I, now. Yeah, I, I I definitely understand it and and especially when you when you really tap into your inner peace and you you happy with you happy with shit like yeah. shit going good if nothing going fuck it up like somehow J Cole broke bad and said I put a, he put out a whole diss record you know he right. had time to think yeah. about this shit yeah he had, he had time to think about it it's just like but at the same time it's just like I respect him for what he did because he's like he's he wasn't thinking what what Hector just said about that shit you know what I mean. Like at that point, it was just like it wasn't known. Like you know, Kendrick and Drake wasn't fucking with each other like that. But when he seen like, oh, these niggas ain't really fucking with like that. Hold up, let me back myself the fuck out of here because this is deeper than rap. This is absolutely deeper than rap. You know what I mean? So let me get the fuck out of this situation. Let me remove myself out of the situation. And let them two niggas go handle that shit. I right. think he was just letting niggas know that who he is, like yeah. J Cole. Like, I ain't no, nigga. I ain't no, I ain't no bitch. All right, right. I, I got right. bars. I don't even rock with Kendrick, so y'all can talk about him. I, don't, <laughs> I, don't, I can't. I, I respect Drake as I a rapper. I can't listen to Kendrick. Oh, whatever. He done. He did numbers. He's doing numbers. Got to respect him on Ken, that. You ain't like Kendrick's first album? I don't listen to Kendrick. Good Kid, Mad City? I, I don't was listen classic. to Kendrick good, Lamar Good Kid, at Mad all, City bro. was That's really crazy. good. You can't even... What is it, Section 80? And my friends know uh, that, bro. You can't even... If you play Kendrick and Mark Hall, you got to no, either like get out or yeah. change it. That, that was dope, too. You know? Mm. Now, Kendrick got some good music. No, nah, yeah, I, I don't listen to Kendrick at all. At all, bro. <laughs> Not even a song with Rihanna? Oh, uh, bro. The I only like song I song. like of Kendrick Lamar is probably Poetic Justice. What we about, drink. Yeah. <laughs> what about We Gonna Be All Right? No, nah, bro. I, I, got, I heard that too much. Uh, I heard it too that's much. That's commercial like yeah. fuck. I don't like that song. I, I and be damn. That, 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 yeah. I don't. Where? No. Because, like, honestly, the, um, nah. what's the, um, the joint with him, Future, and Metro Boomin? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, like that? Yeah. Like that. Mm -hmm. Uh uh. Yeah, and, I, ain't, like, I ain't like that either. I play, it's really? play, it's play I ain't like that either. It's played it out. It just came out. Exactly. Oh, yeah. get, you Boy, get, if shit can get played out in three weeks, it's crazy. It's crazy. In like, three weeks? It's, I can't it's play it out. Listen, bro. It's I, not played out. It's played know, out. Yeah, I don't like that had, song. You ever had like a thing where like you hear a song and you like, it's all right. But then when you go out and you, yeah. hear it, and you get a different vibe. Yeah. Bro, like that whole weekend, I was in the clubs. And when that shit came on, bro, everybody turned up. They turned For up. Real. Yeah. That shit oh, I just like Future. Future. People sleeping on future, man. Hey, I, you, I'm right. sorry. I'm, a, I'm probably gonna get blasted on the internet about this. Like, I'm not a big future fan. Shit. I, I'm not a future fan. You is a future fan. 
I said I'm not a big Future fan. Future, bro. You're not a Future fan, but when they play the Future set in the club, you'd be like, you be going crazy. You be like, that's what it's been for. That's what it's been for. You're not gonna gonna listen to it on your off time, right? I was okay. Yeah, you're not gonna listen to your off time. But when they play that future set in the club, you like, oh, if I play, buy it, good, good. Oh, right, so when itching, itch itch bro, when itching itch came out, yeah, now, itch I ain't bro. gonna say it, that, that <laughs> itching, with that Mike Will, yeah. that itch. shit, that shit clapping the car. Or that, or that March Madness. That's yeah, that March thing. Madness March is another Madden, one. Bro. But like, like me being a car future. head and audio head, now, yes, in this phone, there's a couple playlists for the tracks, the traps and trunks. You yeah, feel me? Yeah. You got some future on there. Mm-hmm. You got some Gorilla Zoe and some other shit. Gucci yeah. and shit Burprint, like that. Burr print. That's my yeah, shit. Yeah, that's my shit. I, it's not no <laughs> shit like I'm in the crib, parlaying, cleaning up or some shit. I'm not going to play no yeah, trap music. I'm not playing no trap music. It's I, RB I play, all day. Not, RB you know, all day. Yeah. Or like, it's got to be some, some AZ, some Nas, some J, or mm-hmm. some shit like that. It's got to be a mixture of that. But. Nah. No, I don't think no trap music is on that on that cleaning playlist. I'm sorry. Nah, not at all. Not at all. <laughs> all right, before we get the question of the week, <laughs> we got a segment we doing this week called <laughs> Park It in the Comments. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So <laughs> Let Listen. me just say this before you say this. Y'all motherfuckers wild in them comments, dog. Y'all, wild. y'all all wild y'all all as fuck. I ain't wild never, never in, seen them. I don't even pay attention to y'all them. Y'all all wild time. in these comments. Uh-oh. And, y'all and unusual. So unusual. So disrespectful. Uh-oh. And you know when Bama on, we go viral. So so Uh-oh. I picked so I picked out some of my favorite comments <laughs> over the last couple <laughs> times you've been on them. since you've been on the show. Yeah. And they be, they be coming for your Uggs, my yeah. boy. They be, <laughs> yeah, they, 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 they be coming for your uh, Uggs. Bro, them Chelsea boot Uggs, bro. Chelsea, my, and, and somebody said that in, in one of them Yeah, shits somebody too. said one of these shits. Yeah, yeah, and then my friend, like, my, when I was at the barbershop, the barber beside me got tight because I was wearing Uggs. <laughs> oh, he got said, big tight. Yeah, he was tight. He was mad, like, just going in on my Uggs. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, I just got on shoes, man. Why, why, why they... I think I think what it is is a feminine shoe. I big, thank you. Oh. That's exactly what it is. Ugg is ugg, bro. Like, that's like, what it is. When like, I wear wallabies, that's... I don't mean no offense. Me personally, they look okay on the right person foot. Yeah. Me personally, like Shorty, tell me all the time. I think your foot will look good with some ugg boots. Yeah. Fuck out of here! I'm not wearing no ugg boots. Uh, it depends like, on which like, ones you got. Like I got the Chelsea one. I wasn't gonna get the fucking. <laughs> The ones that the girls yeah. do all the time. Of course not. Like, cause uh fucking Pharrell had, if you look up a yeah. picture of Pharrell, he had the girl ones on. Like he I feel like he started the UG uh, train. That's so why this they is came Pharrell out. Williams, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's uh let's get the parking in the comments. Uh oh. <laughs> they was very mean to me and you. So it's not just you. <laughs> not y'all they, mean. They, they was they they went at they went at me too. Yeah, they bro. said they Okay, All right. so I sent so I sent the comments the rel- so I sent some of the best ones. So and and next time, uh, you Just know, send them to me. Next, hold on, hold, <laughs> next next time it's Amazon. We're gonna do it again. Park it in the comments, and the best ones to be read on the show. So okay, this is the first edition of Park it in the comments. Uh-oh. All right, Park Rel- it in the comments with Rello the Prince, with Rello the Prince <laughs> and Bama. Shout out if 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 you can say their can um, say ha- handle name. Uh, say the handle name is and right. I shout you out. Yeah, but shout out to the constituents Avenger. And I'm a DM you too. So he's making the DM so if I don't like have it. To make sure you get it right, so you can make sure you DM the right person. Right. So it's V underscore constituents underscore Avenger seventy seven. Uh, she said, "No, you need to do a video about them boots you got on." <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Um, Neb the producer said, "Uggs, Uggs, just cut his mic off." <laughs> <laughs> that, bro, what's wrong with Uggs, bro? I don't. And I don't to the see. people that we read your comment and you see this, feel free to cut, park it in the comments again right. to answer why you said what you said. Uh, Good shit. What's wrong with Cooties her? and Lippies MD? She stated, Pause making the moves <laughs> in them Uggs. Nah, sir. First move to is excuse me. First move is to remove the Ugg fashion boots. For real, for real. 
We get you. Great response. I can't keep my feet warm. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Like, it was cold that time. <laughs> I can't keep my feet. Because when you put up, bro, your feet feel like you're walking on clouds. Hey, bro, I was probably cold outside. Yeah, man. bro. So, I be Smitty underscore stated, bro, got, bro got a calm list. And hated getting <laughs> called on to reading class. <laughs> Come on, bro. Come on, bro. You gonna do me like that, bro? You gonna but do me like, do that, like that, bro? That is, that's right. fucked up. That's we'll be up, DMing man. you, bro. We gonna DM you. Like, you gonna do me like that, bro. man? All right. right. Now Go this ahead. one. I'm sorry. This one took me out. <laughs> Chef Five ID stated, "Bro got size 15 old <laughs> <laughs> They that do look like took, they do look like biscuits, man. That one <laughs> took me out. Oh, oh my god, that one took me out. The Uggs, they they come pause. <laughs> they are they are <laughs> manufactured bigger. So yeah, I don't know. So you gotta go a bigger size. Yeah. Right? Okay. <laughs> Uh, it's like a whole bunch of cushion. <laughs> <laughs> Just know my feet warm, man. Don't worry about what's on my face. <laughs> CT, she said, said, damn, your name just fucked me up. Sorry about that. I fucked that up. But anyway, CT, she said, let me pause, said, make the first move and take them boots off. <laughs> Bro, um, I, even, I done forgot I even wore boots on the damn <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Chelsea boots. Big, big underscore homie underscore deep underscore hybrid hus- underscore hustle. Okay. Take some underscores out, bro. First of all, <laughs> we were saying that before you start. I read your bro. comment. Take some of them damn underscores bro. out. But buddy reading like the kid on Billy Madison. Fuck out of here. <laughs> damn, bro. <laughs> damn. Bro, what's up with my reading, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I ain't even gonna lie, bro. I was one of those late bloomers with reading, right, obviously. Bro. But, bro, don't comfort me with my reading. I still don't know man. how to type without looking on bro, the computer. I still don't know how to type without looking. I'll be the one I'm finger. Not, I'm not, I don't mean no offense. I cannot go with you all on that due to the matter of fact of the jobs I held, yeah. being customer service and shipping and receiving and shit. I got to type every day. I'm so the fastest one finger that. typer <laughs> no, on the planet, bro. I know how um, to type one finger, bro. Seymour Butt said... Bro, Pause. the Uggs. Seymour Butts. Seymour Butts. How you going to come for a nigga Uggs and your name Seymour Butts? Right. Seymour <laughs> Butts, right. <laughs> He's better in Fuck nigga. <laughs> Fuck nigga. Seymour <laughs> Butts. Bro, bro, the Uggs off. The cuffs is in the pants. It's crazy as hell, eh, yo. Hey, yo, you retarded. Right. Hey, yo, What's you retarded. Why you come from the man cuffs? Uh, Antos1013 said, homie struggle to read that shit. Come on, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you struggle so to y'all read that shit. So y'all picking on people with re- <laughs> <laughs> reading disabilities, y'all picking God. on people. But that, oh, that's yeah. in here was picking on niggas reading disabilities and shit, my nigga. I'm no, going no, no. to say some it's real shit. jokes. It's yeah, it's jokes, right. but I'm going to say some real shit. Probably a lot of these motherfuckers that type this shit probably use the little red underscore line to get help with typing this shit. Right. So fuck out of here. Autocorrect. Let me let let's 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 be the judge. Was, was I struggling that bad reading at home? He he play, look at that. Let's play the game, Phil. Wait, wait. You wanna you wanna wait for these last comments? You okay. got two more. Okay. All right. Go ahead. The official. <laughs> the official LSD. Why you got a name like LSD? Ain't that a draw? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The official LSD said, "Hey, I didn't know you was a Jags fan." DTWD. The fuck is DTWD? Right. Y'all on these abbreviations. What's DTWD? D-T- D-T- hey, Jags. shout out to yeah, the Jags though, but yeah, yeah. you know DTWD. What is that? I don't and know. They, I, is it something with Duval? I don't know. D two. Oh yeah, Duval. No, it no. Ain't. Wait. <laughs> What's the, the TWD thing? Where the W know. come from? Maybe I, I'm gonna have to look that one up, right, man. Oh, uh, last but not least, Andres World stated. Yeah, my prayer for Mr. Uggs is that one day <laughs> some bra will pin that nigga down, pull his joint out, and sit on it. Clap them cheeks until his Uggs fall off. <laughs> Thank you? <laughs> what? Yo. Did you just insult hey, yo. me and wish me well in the relationship? Oh, he was doing well with some big, with right. some big cheeks, bitch. Appreciate hey, that. <laughs> And that was Park it in the comments. Park it so, in the comments. So I'm going to play, I'm gonna play back what I read. <laughs> Somebody sent me this question of the week, so I had to read it off at the time. So here it is. Uh-oh. Initiated 
intimacy is it is it the, is the man supposed to start most deaf uh i, I, I ain't even really struggle with that what right. are you talking about i thought it was pretty decent <laughs> 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 i thought it was shit. pretty decent i don't know. a lot i mean so. it's just like you know you ain't struggle with shit. Just said intimacy. Shit. All right, man. Well, anyway. That was parking in the comments. Leave, leave us more comments. If it's funny. You get it right. It get red. You know what I mean? That, that's how it goes. So, you know, be be funny, be witty, <laughs> and all that. Talk your shit, man. Talk all right, it. man. All right. Question of the week, man. You know, that's the segment we do every week on Best Conversations Podcast. And uh, definitely gets the people talking, get the people going. Um, question of the week this week is... How long will you wait for your partner to get their shit together? How long will you wait for your partner to get their shit together? Ain't no waiting. No waiting? <laughs> Hell no. If I, I mean, if, we, if I like her, I'll give her... She need to speed it up. Because <laughs> <Like, laughs> I, mean, I got my shit together. I want... I don't know. Shit, I don't feel like waiting. It's like... It, we I mean, getting old fast. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get that your shit cool. together. But it's just like, with that question... It's a lot when you say get your shit together. Yeah. What do you mean? You feel me? Get like, your shit together, get your stuff together. Like Fin finances. Job wise, wise job. heart wise, mental wise. All, all the above. Absolutely. Okay. Well, yeah. Uh, Some so, people need time. Yeah. 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 Hey, like people need time. I mean, I ain't it just depends five, on six. it just depends on the situation. The yeah. previous situation with that person, what they've been through, and things of that nature. Yeah, yeah, you, you definitely gotta, gotta be in part too. Yeah, well, it took know. me a while to get my shit together because after the little situation in twenty twenty one, uh, like it took a while to get my shit together. Yeah. Like, so. like I feel the same way. It took me a while to get my shit together. I mean, we living yeah. in the microwave microwave gener generation. Yeah. And so they people come for you. <laughs> they gonna come, man. Uh, uh, you know they come. Uh, boom, 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 boom. So we live in a, mi a microwave generation, and everybody wants instant results. Yeah. So it's just like what? nobody don't want that. How what's that? That September love. Nobody don't want that old school shit. You know what I mean? Nobody, like, nobody wants the struggle want, love. Nobody wants shit. to start from nobody the, don't I want that love, man. I want that love outside the window. <laughs> throw the rock. <laughs> yeah. Play the music. Yeah. I want that I shit, I want to be bro. on my comment shit. Can I write like your love letter? Yeah, like, like, <laughs> they don't want to do like the footwork. They don't want to, they don't want to, you know, they don't want to court, you know, like the old school people say, they don't want to court no more. To bad girls. You know I, I used mean? to write poems, bro. If I wrote you a poem, you were special. See, I couldn't that's write how, shit. That's how all the girls felt like. I ne but if I wrote you a poem, if I take time to sit down and write you a poem, you you got something that I want. <laughs> like, like I, it's, it's, I mean, like your personality and shit, I just be in the room writing poetry. I, I ain't wrote none in a while, though. I was a hoe, man, because like, I didn't. Yeah. I was a hoe. Like, hoe with my I, poetry. Like, <laughs> I, I, did, I, did, like, I would say like it started like just talking baby love type yeah. thing. I say I dated what maybe like two girls in high school. If that, uh, you know what I mean, why would you the same life? You know what I mean, like, <laughs> school, like you know what I mean, like, like real relationship. When I, when I came to the three three six, it was like a whole whole status, like uh, fucking here, fucking there. This Greensboro is like the yeah, junior like, Atlanta. The junior <laughs> Atlanta. Right, 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 right. I swear right. to you, bro. niggas. Niggas you, came from these small towns yeah. that go, go to Greensboro. Like, it's just for like what? It's niggas nothing turn, there, really. Turn retarded. So Man, I, I, I had I had. Uh, I had all the three bodies in 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 high school, boy. What numbers tripled when I got to Greensboro? It was like shit. Them niggas, them shit is tripled. Like honestly, why you think like, I'm in Greensboro no every other week? <laughs> I didn't have no numbers I in high school. Like I'm just being dead ass. I didn't have no numbers in high school, man. Oh, it was just like man. after I left, went to the military and all that stuff. Like people back home sliding in inboxes and shit. Oh, this, that, and the third. Like, whoa, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. We weren't, doing, we weren't on that type of time back then, so we ain't on that type of time now. Some Damn. of them, they did get hit. Like, fuck it. I'm going to do it just for shits and giggles. Right, uh, right. But, but, to, to bring it, but to bring it back, um, now, granted, I've always fucked with women. For the most part, I've always fucked with women that had their shit together. For the right. most part, it was, it was usually me yeah. that was slacking and trying to get to their level. That's what it is. Um, I mean, a good woman with motive is definitely going to motivate you right. and help you and give you encouragement to help you get your shit together and get your shit together. Now, I feel like that's good unless you ain't no like a nut ass nigga. Like, you know what right. I mean? Keep going to jail. You know what I mean? Yeah. Getting fired every other week yeah. and doing, doing doing all that dumb shit. How how long you how long you feel like a person should wait 
get they shit together. That's a <clears throat> well, we had this conversation on the last podcast. I don't think you should be in a relationship if y'all ain't got your shit together. Right. Bingo. Ding, ding, like, ding, ding. <laughs> y'all both just standing in shit, for real. Right. right. All right, bro. And like you said, if a, gr- a girl's supposed to help you get, you know what I'm saying, excel, how's she going to do that if her shit ain't together? Right. right. And, and it's right, draining because right. you feel like you have to keep helping them or keep pushing them or remind right. them to do stuff when you're supposed to. If you want it, you got to get it. It's, not, it's nothing worse. It's nothing worse then watching your par- partner go to work and your ass laying there on that couch or in that bed with no plan, nothing that's going that's on, that's and they going to work. And boy, don't let and don't let them come home and you ain't got that house clean. Boy. They gonna talk to you like they gonna yo, turn up. <laughs> <laughs> you got a story about that. My, one of my homies I used to make music with, he was out here and um he just moved out here, so he was kind of like trying to figure his shit out. Yeah. And he dated one of our homegirls, and she was like in law school and all that. She had all her stuff right. Mm-hmm. And so at first, he was like, oh, hell yeah, I got a bad chick, this, that, and a third. And then he came to the studio one day, and he was like, bro, she went to work, and she said, when I get back, you better have them dishes washed. I was like, I couldn't do that. So he just the fuck out. <laughs> right. like, oh, fuck no. Yeah. All right, all right. Right. It's like, all right, if I bring it home, bro, you just can't be at the crib while I'm working. Yeah, you can't. Like, you got to be more, like doing something. Not saying necessarily you got to work. Do something. What Have you ever shacked up with anybody yet? Bro, I co- cohabitated with a girl twice with two girls. Cohabitated. Cohabitated. Yeah. Wow. That was wild. Wow. 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 Cohabitated. Wow. 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 We live with cohabitated. I, I was going to say, I haven't cohabitated with a woman, what, since One? 16? Okay. The one of them was 50 situation. I ain't really like that because... I was born the demand. I was like raised. Like it was demand. your girl, though. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so it, that, that didn't work. I don't like that shit, man. Go I mean, because you, you could, I, I mean, some people go have roommates that's a girl. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah but right. it's hey. just like, I would say, one thing I will say, when you haven't cohabitated, <laughs> that's, that's the word of the week. That's a good word. word. Week. Cohabitated. Cohabitated. But if you haven't cohabitated with a woman in like the time frame I have, Mm-hmm. It just like that shit feel weird. Like yeah. to have to do that or like want to attempt to do that shit again. I gotta tell you, that shit got me scared as fuck to even attempt to do. Right. Because exactly. I've been doing this shit what not what eight years? Mm. Eight years dolo. And it's been okay. It's been I don't weird. It's me myself and I. I gotta pay the light. I gotta pay rent. I gotta pay this. I gotta pay that. It's right, 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 right. Like right. I just can't see myself. I don't know. I just. At this point, I couldn't see myself going back to that at this right. moment. I, like, I don't know. Like, next time, I'm trying to get it out my mentality. Like, okay, get ready to cohabitate. Right. Next time woman, I cohabitate, right? we I'm about to marry her. Yeah, absolutely. And plus, we gotta have an extra room, like a bedroom, because <laughs> bro, I cohabitated. We had a one bedroom spot. That shit, it felt like she was like. Right here. <laughs> I'm, look, I'm taking the shit. She right beside me. <laughs> right. I'm in the shower. She on the toilet. Right. Like, bro, what the fuck? I'm playing with the cat. She on the bed. Like, <laughs> it's like, it's like, nah, bro. I don't know. I'm not ready for that. I've been solo for a while now. Yeah. So. so you ain't ready for uh, it? Next girl I cohabitate with, we get married. <laughs> we get married. Right. Yeah, like, I, I think that I feel you on that. Like, yeah, we get married. To, she has to be fiance or something. Yeah, like that. and you she has mean? to have the shit together because yeah, we're too yeah. old now. We man. too old, yeah. yeah. At, at, too old. At, at this big age, we too old. Too old. I, at, I'll be thirty this, this year. Yeah, thirty. Thirty. She yeah. Bama's a young man. Yeah, I'll be thirty well, this I, year. I'm uh, thirty. I just turned thirty five on the 29th of August. Yeah. Hey. But at this big age, man, you know, if if I was, you know, what I mean, to start some new shit over. Yeah. Uh, you got to have your shit together. Right, yeah, you I, to. I, I can't do struggle love at 40. Right, you can't do struggle, can't you do struggle love it. at 40. You got to have it. Ain't no, ain't no way. Like the never, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. No, I mean, like you said, but you good. Like, yeah, I'm good. You I'm good. good. Like, you know what I mean? It's just like, yeah. niggas like me, it's just like. Nigga had to pay taxes, nigga. Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> like, I had to pay taxes. Oh, yeah, I owe this shit. I'm like, what the fuck? God, yeah, I'm grown. Yeah. When I owe niggas taxes, get, I'm like, yeah, I'm grown. Niggas is getting a couple coins, boy. Yeah, yeah. I've like, been going through that shit. I've always owned these motherfuckers. Never right. fails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like an fails. adult this year. I, this is my first year on. On taxes. Yeah. Shit. All, that, like all, a, that, all that money you making on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. That's why I owe. Just because they're Instagram All, all that money you making on Instagram, man. Oh so, damn. 
So it's getting warm out here, fellas. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah. Summer right around the corner. Uh, you know what I mean? Shit, you know, everybody, you know, got their summer plans, what they gonna do, what's got going on. It's fellas, hoochie, I it's need... hoochie daddy shorts. So oh no, it's not. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, hell. We're gonna get we're gonna get into knees. it. No. <laughs> we're gonna, get into, <laughs> we gonna get into it, fellas. <laughs> This summer coming up, guys. What are the do's and don'ts of summer this year? What what are we not fucking with this summer? Hoochie and, daddy shorts. And what are we? Fucking, <laughs> and what are we fucking with this hoochie, summer? We fucking with the hoochie daddy because the girls love the hoochie daddy shorts, man. He is hoochie daddy. Not shorts. me. Above the knees. Nah, <laughs> no, above no. the knees. A little bit, not I'm booty st- shorts. <laughs> <laughs> not I'm, booty shorts. I'm stuck hoochie in the 90s. daddy. I'm sorry, I'm stuck in the nineties. I can't. Oh, you can't. I can't. Bro, I mean, in the maybe, 90s. Hey, I got chicken legs, man. I, got I was just about legs. to say that shit. Maybe because of them chicken legs. Yeah, I, I got, got chicken legs. No, I got chicken, chicken legs. Like, go back to watch some of more previous episodes where I wore shorts. Like, <laughs> I have chicken legs. But yeah. I, like, women give me compliments on my legs all the time. You got good looking legs. They, because I, I guess I'm tall and stuff. But I just can't see myself wearing some hoochie daddy shorts. I'm sorry. Hey, man. Shorty they, be telling me all the time, press hoochie daddy shorts. Really? to the beach. How they see your legs if you don't wear the, the shorts? Like, see, the shorts I be wearing, they don't they be. Just, they just look at your calves. Like, <laughs> I'm telling nice you, like, you like, nice I'm telling you, like, for real, like, that ass, like, the shorts I, like, the shorts I wear, uh-huh. if I wear shorts, like, you see my my knee is right here. Mm. I say, like, my shorts usually be right here. You know what I mean? Like, right past my knee. Sometimes, I yes, I might get some long ass shit. They might just see how, like, I'm I'm telling you, I'm stuck in the 90s, bro. Like, especially well, with early basketball 2000s. shorts. Yeah, I'm them stuck college, in, You remember when they used to wear yeah, them I'm baggy stuck, ass yeah. shits in yeah, college like, basketball? Like, what, TJ Ford and them? Yeah, I'm stuck. Right. I'm stuck. I ain't that baggy. No, I ain't, going, I ain't doing no Capri shorts type right. shit. But... I'm just, I can't, I can't So what, so what is you fucking with this summer? I mean. Car clubs and whatever. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. out in the streets in the cars, man. Like, you know, hey. I'm cool. I'm with the kids, man. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to take my babies somewhere this summer. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm out the way. You know what I mean? Right. I'm be out there, but I'm out the way if that makes sense. Out the country what, what, this what, summer. What you, not, yeah. what you not fucking with this summer, Bama? Like, uh, what, 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 what niggas need to be, women in, Women and men need to be off this summer. We, oh, we ain't doing that. Picking this on summer. people, man. Nah, <laughs> nah, 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 nah. <laughs> what the nah, fuck? Nah, nah, nah. You don't say shit. Nah. <laughs> my nigga, my nigga, I am Ray Ray said that shit the best. Be you holding, you taking the gun charge this summer if you ain't taking care of your kids. Like yeah, that's what you're not fucking with this summer. Yeah, like right. if you ain't taking care of your kids. You been in the streets. You been out in the streets. Like I'm going to the streets during the winter, spring, right. fall, and all that. This summer, sit your ass down. Right. Like, women, somebody need to get y'all pregnant so y'all can sit down in the summer because y'all have been doing too much entirely. They, some right. some well, women once, been doing once it gets warm, they on the boats with the Casamigos. Oh, it's sun, Casamigos no, it's and, sundress season. Yeah, it's sundress season. Now, I, I look yeah. forward to seeing that. I ain't going to say it. Sun, sundress and pretty toes season. I'm yeah. excited. My you favorite season. White toes. White toes. White toes. I like the girls. I like, that, you like, know. What they, French dips? No, nah, I like, I like the French dip, but I like the I like. The white girls toes. that, you know, put like a solid different color on that yeah. match of that gel with their I like the white shit. toes, man. You know what I mean? And they glistening. They, they glistening. <laughs> they glistening, <laughs> they glistening with the different color toes or whatever. Right. But what gets me, like, baby, you got to be smelling good. Oh, yeah. Mm. It's summer, baby. You know what I mean? You got to be smelling good. good. You got to have that perfume on when you yeah. walk by me. I be like, damn what you got on. You know what I yeah. mean? I want to smell Toes, that. look, toes and feet. I don't know about y'all. Toes and feet get kissed if they pretty. Oh, I'm not kissing no feet. Ooh. I don't give a fuck how pretty they are. Ooh. No. <laughs> no. You want to talk about it? I'm grown. Yes, we can talk Look, about I'm it. grown. You want to talk about it? I ain't I'm kissing grown. no feet. I'm, I'm grown. grown. You want to talk about it? Yeah, yeah we can talk about it. I ain't kissing no I ain't putting no feet in my mouth. Hey, look, Pretty man. feet get no. kissed. No. I don't know. Look, man. I'm no. grown. Look, man. I'm grown. Them white toes, boy. I ain't going to do something to me. Nah, I ain't going to do When they be right here? Right. <laughs> when them motherfuckers be right there? <laughs> I'm telling Pretty you. feet. I ain't, I, ain't putting, I ain't putting no toes in my mouth, man. Hey. No, no putting the toes yeah, the in my mouth. I mean, if, she, if, if I'm probably about to marry her, well, I think she wifey material, man. That's when the sucking of the toes, but... Oh, so when you talking about sucking of the toes, you must put in the tongue in the booty, too. Nah. <laughs> got to. I got what? to. What you mean? You oh, got no. to, man. Oh. On accident. 
<laughs> so it's an accident. It's only a snap away. So you know what I'm saying? You hit a wrong turn. <laughs> Hell yeah. Nah. What, Jay? Hey, what's in that? Akio? Akio? Janae, I go. Got to eat the booty I, I, like groceries. Uh, uh, groceries fresh out the showers like late night ice cream. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. I mean, if she yeah. clean, yeah. bro. I guess, fresh look, out the shower. I guess they going to roast me in these comments this week, dude. Fresh out the no, shower. Ain't, ain't nothing wrong. I don't give a fuck. Ain't, ain't nothing wrong with it, bro. I ain't like, doing if that it. thing clean back there, you know it's clean. I you know smelled it. it. It's just like, I, it's just the no. They get a little kiss, man. It's just know the no <laughs> with the fact that matter. Like, it was coming out of the eye. Bro, island, everything man. on a woman, like I said the last time, everything on a woman's body is edible. Every, everything. Everything. I mean, yeah. Everything. But, everything, uh, bro. What I, ain't, what I am fucking with this summer is the day parties. Oh, yeah. I'm 39 years old. We can, fucking with do, it. I can do day parties. Yeah, yeah. But what I ain't fucking with is that don't 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 invite me to nothing at night. At night, nothing yeah. after nine o'clock. <laughs> no. Don't invite me. I'm Not a cookout. You. Cookout. I feel like I'm on that shower, vibe. Uh, anything. I'm, I'm on, on that vibe. Right. No. I'm on my boy. Don't invite to me. Don't invite I'm, me. He's I'm, at home. I'm with that vibe. He's at home. I'm on the day shit, bro. I'm I don't got the time. Yeah, I do. I, I do a day party. Yeah, I I, I respect that. Yeah, yeah, because you go party by four or five in the afternoon. Probably be to the crib by eight, nine. You can lay it on down, be good for the night. Plus, if you with your shorty and y'all both <laughs> off the mimosa, yeah, <laughs> the greatest day you ever have, bro. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, I ain't, so I ain't, I ain't, I'm gonna tell you one thing. I ain't fucking with. Ahead. I ain't fucking with these young niggas fussing at the gas station either. Yeah, yeah, yeah arguing yeah, yeah. at the gas. Yeah, station. Yeah, they ain't arguing I don't at the even. Gas- you still pumping gas at night? Boom. Hell no. Nah. I don't even I like pumping gas at night no more. Hell no. Nah. These young boys crazy, bro. If, yeah. if I ain't gassed up and I'm on E, I'm going home. Oh, no. I'm good. <laughs> Till in the morning hey, time. I'm good. You know what I mean? Elizabeth, stay with me. Hey. <laughs> I, I don't give a fuck day, night, or whatever, but you know what I mean? Shorty asked me, like, I need gas in the car at night. Yeah. Uh, fuck it, I gotta do what I gotta do. Yeah. I go to sheets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everything yeah. lit up. Like, not, not, even that, not even everything, everything lit, lit up. Not even everything. Yeah, everything lit up for yeah, one. I go to Number sheets. two, you can guarantee your sweet ass. I don't give a fuck you on Wake County, uh, Durham County, Durham County, Guilford County, right. Forsyth, whatever. If you wear the sheets, there's a cop damn near right oh, there. And stand. security. There's a cop, security, somebody you right there. Right, you niggas but, is dirty. These niggas dirty. Don't care. Hey, uh, take us home, Hector. Uh, wh- wh- what you fucking with this summer? And what you ain't fucking with? I ain't fucking with people getting pregnant. Ooh, that's for one. I am, but what? Well, Repetitive well, pregnancy. No, I'm talking about on my. my oh, yo. Better stress that piss off. Uh, yeah. uh, what I am fucking with, I am fucking with the day party vibe. All right, bro, yeah, that's vibe. Yeah, they they throw some good Off day party. Off the mimosas, bro. Have to have to fuck for everything though. Yeah. Yeah. Party. Off the mimosas. Yeah. We know we you know he traveling. I'm, uh, got, got, I'm got trying to, to. Get, I'm trying to. I'm gonna sneak in that nigga suitcase one day, bitch. <laughs> hey, bro, we should definitely, we should definitely do like a little team trip. Yeah, yeah look, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying we, to go. We, to... Actually, we actually got one. We we actually do got one. We when yeah, we going got... when we going to um to Jersey. Uh, remember? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that, that's business, though. That's I'm business, trying to right? go to that's Aspen. Yeah. What part of Jersey again? Atlantic we going City. to um, Elizabeth City. Atlantic City. Atlantic City. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jersey. Yeah, yeah, put, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm yeah. talking about, I'm yeah. talking about, we need to hit up like South America, you know what I'm saying? Hey. Something like that. Yeah, I just got my passport too. I'm excited. It. Damn, I can't say what I want to say. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> but, but anyway, um, next, next, uh, Drake. Uh, you know what I mean? We had, the Drake. Day, we, had the, we had the day party. We had the day party. What's the vibes at the day party? And I say all that to say, you know, uh, you know, we always end, end the show with top fives. Top five. fives. And the day party energy is always different. You know right. what I mean? Ooh. We can't the day party energy ain't like the, the nighttime energy. Daytime the, the day the day party energy is R and B vibes. Mm-hmm. So in in light of the day parties, what's the top five? What's your top five favorite R and B songs of all time? <laughs> oh, oh you crazy. right up my alley with right. this. Right. I love this. Oh shit. Um you got a family, you wanna start it off? Ah oh, shit! I Doesn't started. matter like what genre. I mean, what, uh, y'all not gonna R&B, like my like, top R&B. five. But how, they, how we ain't? My like, top shit. five number one song, still the greatest song to ever touch my ears, is "Summer Walker Body." Okay, okay. But if you just listen to that song, you don't even have to listen to the words. London on the track, he he, bro, he was making that beat like it was the last day of the world. Like, I don't know. That song is greatness, man. So. 
Body by Summer Walker. Probably SWV Week. Ooh, good one. Good Classic. one, my boy. Good one. And good then, one. oh, I'm kind of stuck now. Uh, I want to say an artist, but <laughs> I ain't trying to get careful. <laughs> Kels, what's the day party oh, without Kels? Yeah. Now you gotta, if it's R. Kelly, fuck them. Bro, yeah, I'm not a, trying to get careful. I didn't say a, nothing, but day, I'm gonna name a, the song. <laughs> what's a day? What's a day party without Kels? Like, Bruh. that's like. It's a day party. You gotta have some kills. Kills. Like, motherfuckers still play. But kills. they don't play 12 play in the club, though. She is. Yeah. They don't play 12 day, play. It's a day party vibes. It's day yeah. party vibes. You know what I mean? Can we talk? Seven. Yeah. Gotta have that Absolutely. one. Absolutely. And then, I don't know. I just really fuck with Summer Walker a lot. So any Summer Walker song. Bro. Yeah. I, her Come first on. joint, I liked her. Bro. I loved her first album. Pretty funny, Some, bro. You, what you got, Rilla? Uh... Let me see what I'm start off. Uh, guy, uh, piece of my love. Ooh, oh, you know that's man? some heat uh, in the club. Yeah, that's a that's a heat rocker. That's heat uh, day party. I'm gonna switch it up. Uh, mint condition. Ooh, written so, all over the it, face. It's, it's so many. Right, like, right. It's just I just have to say just mint condition. Right, just the name. Uh, the and never that you'll never know. Okay. Uh, if you love me. Uh, pretty brown eyes. Pretty brown. Yeah, yeah I mean, just the name I, of so like when I hear that song, I think about your daughter. Oh yeah. Yeah, the daughter got them. No, my them niece crit- got them beautiful brown eyes. Shout out to my niece. Yeah, nail like yeah, definitely. Um, Keith Sweat, come go with me. Oh, uh-huh. come with me, featuring Ronald Osley. Oh yeah, a classic one. I'm gonna bring it up a little bit. Two thousand ish, uh, seventeen ish. Uh, her still down. Oh, beautiful song. Oh, yeah, beautiful yeah, song. Beautiful song. Um, shit. Uh, Glenn yeah, Jones. I've yeah. been searching. Oh, we've only just begun. Yeah, yeah there's so many from Glenn right, Jones. Right, right. Name, I, yeah. I've, I've been, been searching. Yeah, like yeah, I was just looking at my. Top I was looking 25. at that. Uns- I was looking at his unsung uh, with the unsung joint. He got came, unsung. Yeah, he got an unsung on TV one. I watched it. It's pretty dope. I, I gotta check it out. But it's sad. Oh, it, I mean, it's like oh, sad, sad. Oh, he alive? Yeah, he's alive. He's still alive. Oh, but you know, unsung has been a while ago. But still, he's yeah. alive. But you know, yeah. it's just like. It's fucked up, like how the situation happened, but great music. Um, I think that's fine. I know it's fine, but I just gotta throw this one artist, this okay. group out there just for shit. Sing giggles intro. Um, they did the remake to the Stevie Wonder song "Ribbon in the Sky." Oh, that beautiful! Whole, that beautiful. whole album, beautiful. Yeah, that's what Wonders. I tell you. That whole album. Yeah, they, oh did, they did it. Be- they did it better than. Yeah, they did it better than Stevie Wonder. They did it better than. Stevie. Believe it or not, but that whole album. Go check it out one day. Just check it out one day. Who you got, heck? Um, we talk about day party vibes. Day party top. Well, it's day party vibe, but top five R and B songs of all time. Of all time, oh shit, all time. So that's I'm hard. Gonna, yeah, I'm gonna oh, go shit. with uh, Usher Superstar. Ooh, oh yeah, great one. Um, yeah. They singing that daytime party, right? Yeah, and the low key sleeper song that that's a great dance song is Wayne Wonder No Letting Go. Ooh. Absolutely, bro. Yeah. Why yeah. I wanted to say yeah. that? You know what I'm talking about? Uh, yeah, everybody know Wayne Wonder. That was like, yeah. what, like 2000, 2001 or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. That's yeah. a good one. That's, that's a good right. one. He Mario. naming all the daytime here. Yeah, Mario, uh, let me love you. Yeah, they yeah. definitely singing that. That, that was Neo's pen. Yeah, yeah <laughs> Avant making good love. Oh, yeah. they definitely singing that too. Yeah, that um, and a new one that just came out that is like a fire ass R and B song. Good wedding song is Friday when it comes to you. Mm. Well, I never yeah, even I, heard been, Friday song. I been, tell you, bro. He, I heard he fired though. Yeah. You, 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 you like, oh shit, like this. Right. Is, the artist's name is Friday. Yeah. Friday, yeah. I heard it's of him, but when it comes to you, promise you, yo. Uh, it, he's a he's a dope artist. Like yeah. I've been like, you know, how I was saying earlier before we even started shooting. I think mm-hmm. like most of the songs you find yeah. find them shit like on TikTok yeah. or One of Instagram stories and shit. Uh, That's how I ran across, right. buddy. I I heard the song on the fucking somebody's story. I'm like, damn, who the joint? Who the dude sound like Kermit though? That's him. Oh, that's yeah, bro. Sound yeah. like a like a R and B Kermit. Yeah, the yeah. frog. That's exactly, that's exactly, yeah, that's exactly what we talking about. Five. I think that was five. Yeah, that's that's five. it was. Smooth. All right. So my number five, number number five, uh, piece of my love, guy. Yeah, yeah. I love that song, but if you really listen to the lyrics, they're like, talking about cheating. He talked yeah. about cheating. I'm like, man, what a great, great. Vibe song, but he's literally talking about right, cheating. Which old songs is dirty. That's what I was about to say. I was just about to say. I didn't know rain. 
Somebody I asked that to be a V. What's that, bro? Yeah. <laughs> like, Somebody a lot of these songs, bro. Before just continue real quick. A lot of these songs from the nineties. You really gotta listen to them because either they talk about cheating or they nasty, nasty. as fuck. Nasty. Because that first SWV album. Rain, bro. I did no, not know. No, not, not, not even not. rain. I got one better. Downtown. Oh yeah. Listen to that song. Damn, bro. SW. They were freaks. Todd Lily and Coco was nasty as fuck. They were freaky. <laughs> so I promise you. They were All right. Freaky. Number four. This is this. It should be instead of. Uh, Netflix and chill, less chill by by God. Wow. Yeah. yeah, you got God. You got yeah. That was another one. That's, 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 on yeah. chill is smooth too. Yeah. Wale. Yeah. Oh yeah. That absolutely. Shit that's a remake. Right. Uh, the that barge shit. number three. The barge. I like it. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah. yeah gotta have that. It. Got you. You can't miss uh, a sleeper. I love this song so much, and I will. I would love to see it. See them in concert. Drew Hill beauty. Dude. Oh yeah, yeah. That, that's my shit. I like. I love that. That's, that's the only, I think that's the only Drew Hill song I can fuck with. In my really? bed, yeah. In my bed remix, right? With J, uh, Jermaine Dupri, yeah. The you uh -huh. wanna dance? I <laughs> make you dance. Yeah. That shit is smooth, it's bro. A miss. I like, got it's a, this I got this okay. feeling. Boom. There's something going on. Boom. If I'm at the house, that's like it. Earlier, if I'm at the house, that's he. It wouldn't be. That song to play will be beautiful. But if I'm like at the day party, perfect. Yeah. I'll, I'll play in my in my band some shit like that. It's just some shit I gotta feel. That's it. That's it. That's it. Bro, they was in their bag when that song came out, bro. Jermaine Dupri. Yeah. That's your heart. How the fuck somebody sleeping in your bed? I don't know. <laughs> that would have been an altercation. So since you were said that, how do you feel about the Deborah Cox song? Oh, which one? Like, is a stranger in my house? Or? No, is it a stranger in my house? No, what's yeah, the other one? We uh, can't be friends. No, what was the joint? Uh, yeah, it was stranger in my house. How you feel about that? Uh, shit, sometimes I don't know who that motherfucker is that live with me. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> that motherfucker be so mean sometimes. Right. I don't know who that. That's why I stopped cohabitating. They was mean. Sometimes you don't know who is that motherfucker. They mean, bro. They mean for no man, reason. Well, I, man, let me stop because I gotta go home. Yep, I'm about to say don't call me. Yeah, I'm telling uh, you that. Don't call me. Yeah, and I know, right? <laughs> and my and my num and my number one is and and I, and I know this is uh, number one for everybody, man. Even though my brother is sweeter than marshmallows, can we talk, Tevin Camp? Yeah, man. That's, yeah. Like, the, that's like the that's. I ain't know. I ain't, I, I know. Yeah. What's the name came out with a list? Uh, Rolling Stone or somebody came out and said Usher something was the number one R and B song of in the world in the world or, forever like all the time. Yeah, but. Can, can we, we talk? talk? That's, the, that's the number that's one. That's the R easiest song you can learn right. word for word. That's right. a that's a uh, that's my that's like he loved karaoke. That's yeah. a karaoke. Yeah, karaoke. that's the go to yeah, right there. I, I couldn't do it, but yeah, I, you I gotta can't have a sing. voice to do that shit. No. Yeah, I, 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 I can't, can't sing one for fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it to write you letters. Right. <laughs> like, now, shout, like shower, car singing. Oh, I got you. Right. Like, and with Mike. In public, what about? Uh, I like that. All I do is think of you. That I can't wait to get to school. True, true, yeah. That true. shit. Do do we even know anybody? Be, be, before we close, how many R and B groups that we have no clue who the who the hell like their names are inside Bobby the group? Troop, like troop in, is number troop, one. Troop is number one. I was thinking about another one. Don't you say high five? Day twenty six. Ace Town. H Town. H -town it, yeah. I have no, I have no clue. Bro, I thought any of those guys names. But yeah, I thought. But uh, was it half? No, I'm sorry, that was half. Pretty Ricky give because... H Town vibe. <laughs> <laughs> like, believe right. it or not, prime example. I only want to say what only R and B group I know every uh, person name is edition. Jack and Edge and New Edition. And new edition. Uh, and new edition. Everybody know what? You got, Ronnie, you got Bobby, Brian, and Brandon. What about and uh, Jackson Five? What about Jodeci? <laughs> Jonas, see, that's easy. It's uh, Casey, Jojo, Devante, and... I didn't know they was from Charlotte, bro. Casey yeah. and Jojo. Somebody else. I don't know. So, I mean, like, some of the dudes you probably heard of or seen of <gasps> was part of that. Like, I want to say, like, oh, prime shit. example, you heard of Tony Thompson? Probably not. Yeah, I got Tony Thompson in my phone. I forgot. Okay, Tony Thompson. He's from High Five. Probably. Oh, for real? Didn't know that. Yeah, High Five. He's, he's, part of, he's from that group, High Five. Rest in mm -hmm. peace, Tony Thompson, by the well, way. Why we skip over Anthony Hamilton, a the point of it all. The pool. The that point shit. Of it all. I got to ride home to that. I'm telling you. I got to ride home Anthony to that. Anthony Hamilton. That's another Charlotte heavy Absolutely. Hit. All right, Bama, what you got coming up, my boy? Mm. 
Trying to get this merch rolling, man. Trying to get the merch rolling? Because I had an I idea. See, I, I see a lot of people doing a lot of merch deals with you. Like, what? you know what I mean? Putting, like, you wear their shit in their story and type shit. Or yeah, 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 yeah. Some people be wanting to send me stuff. I got to get a P.O. box, bro. But I don't know about the P.O. box because some people be sending some weird shit through the mail. Yeah. That, that's some content, though. Yeah, you can do like a, a PO box. Yeah, the PO box haul or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I'm mean, that's what I'm hoping to do next. Well, I probably will set up PO box and get some merch rolling. Okay, and then finally get on stage again, man. You know, so we've been waiting for you to get on stage, man. Finally, bro. It, it, I feel like that energy, man. I done got all like the motivation. What's, what's talk. I mean, like, what's what's you? I mean, you five hundred thousand followers right. on Instagram, right, man? I mean, I wanted I, to I go. Seen, I seen the nigga Steve Urkel repost your shit. Yeah, Steve Urkel. I be. Why you gonna call that man by his goddamn gun? Oh, Jaleel White. <laughs> Jaleel White. Jaleel White. <laughs> yeah, Jaleel White. Snoop Jaleel Dog. White. Yeah, I be chopping it up with Spice Spice Adams sometimes. Yeah, I got a lot of celebrities that be DM me. Like they'll just send me videos mm -hmm. and be like, do something with it. Yeah, yeah. It, it's a lot of that, bro. Yeah, That's yeah, why I turned yeah. off my notification. Yeah, uh, but I'm I, trying I, to get my followers more familiar with my face instead yeah, of just my try to keep eyes and mouth. Eye. So yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, man. All right, Rella, what you got going on? The the car club king <laughs> boy, the the motherfucking you're the Ritz. Riders in the South. <laughs> you said what happened? You heard of Ritz? Yeah. Riders in the South? Uh, yeah. That's the park club my stepdad used to be a part yeah, of. Yeah, I've heard of him. That yeah. nigga, the, that the, nigga, I, I, that I, I, nigga, Rella. I, 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 okay. Don't Rella, put it out there. Okay. You just love your car so much. Yeah, God, like, I mean, every because, time, every time I, this, this nigga story, nigga, the damn car. I mean. And maybe because I don't care about I, I, I see it all the time, too. Yeah. It's just like, it's just like, you know what I mean? Like, like you just said, it's nothing. You care about it too much, but like. Like, you know, he he do his com comedy for him. Right. him. Like, that's him. That's what he do. Yeah, you yeah. do the podcast. I do the podcast too, but my car and my car club shit is my world. Like, that's like, how, my, that's like, how I was with my ask, dad. You ask people what they got going on, that's what I got going on. I got my car club, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, you know, I be wearing different, you know, same shit. Next, who, 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 time, who, next the, time we get invited to the SEMA show, you should go. Uh, the SEMA show? Yeah. Shit, I would love to go to the SEMA show. What Shit, the fuck man. is the SEMA show? Oh, Rick Ross, Ross Car Club show. It's the biggest car show in the nation. Yeah, it's SEMA. Vegas. SEMA go hard. Like, Rick Ross up there, ain't no, no. Yeah. His yeah. car they show have, up like, there. You got, like, then you got different top clubs. To the motherland. Shit. You know what I mean? Like, if you get invited to the motherland, motherfucker, but I mean, granted, there's a pricey price. To yeah. get invited to that shit. Yeah. Rick Ross has his, his shit on his yard, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm trying Damn. To, I'm trying to be able to say one day I'm gonna represent a club right, with yeah. my shit out there one day. You Rick know what Ross. I mean? But you know, uh what I got on right now, by the way, this from my man's my nigga Ty. What's good, Ty? Uh he got wrist takers mm -hmm. uh clothing, you know, mm -hmm. wrist, wrist takers L T D. So, you know, he got the Instagram page, Facebook and all that shit. But this is what he got me, you know what I mean? I told him I had some shit, I just wanna, yo, throw this color Damn. skin, throw some shit together for me. Yeah, hey, I should have okay. had. So I got you. Shit, boom. A lot of the shit I, I'll be coming through with, that shit coming from risk takers. You know what I mean? Like, well, definitely people gonna see it. Yeah, they like, call me risk taker. That's how I see it. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, because like, right. I, I mean, because like I said, it's just like, that's who, like, I don't wanna, when I come through, like, trying to keep up with you, nigga, I'm, I'm gonna go highlight this nigga, man, because right. you be coming here big stuff and shit. I'm trying, to, <laughs> I'm trying to get on his level. Right. I mean, Shout out to my boy, uh, Freehand free God. Freehand to God for the um, for the posters. Shout out Culture Freedom. Um, yes, sirs. Definitely shout out to Freehand to God for the for the art for the podcast. Where we appreciate. Oh you. yeah, no doubt. Uh, Wake him boy for life, man. Definitely, WB definitely. L, baby. Happy birthday to my homegirl Caressa today, April nineteenth. What we're recording this, we have to say the oh, date because. Uh, some viral, some viral should have happened. They'd be like, why they didn't talk about it? Right. Right. Well, happy anniversary to my um, parents. They've been together 21 years. Hey, hey. hey. Yeah. Nice, nice, good nice, shit, nice, shit. nice, yeah. nice. Uh, y'all, anybody else want to shout out? Uh, Paul, since we doing this, man. What's up? First things first, rest in peace, Miss Alberta Timmons, man. Absolutely, absolutely, uh, absolutely. You know, that was family. Yeah, that was You know family. what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So, you know, Poppy Kiva. Claudia and Nicole, Jonathan, yeah, y'all yeah, know. We just yeah. one phone call away, man. Love y'all, man, for real. Absolutely. All of y'all. Absolutely. And always, shout out to TMG Studios Productions. Chill. 
Everybody, shout out to Unbelievable Behavior Podcast. I was on their last episode. Yeah, like, you, <laughs> that shit was funny. It was funny, man. That Y'all go gross. tap in with the episode, most yeah, definitely. Yeah, like, they, they, there's they, some good they, points on that one. They, they, funny, they funny as hell. Who was it? Uh, Freak Mill? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, that, I, shit, that yeah. shit took me out. I got to I gotta go watch the episode. I got to go Y'all watch understand I, what I'm talking about with the Freak Mill part. Um, <laughs> and um, oh yeah, big announcement, big announcement, big announcement. Best conversations podcast production. Um, I'm looking to add to what we got going on with the podcast. I want to add a female podcast to you know what I mean to what we got going on. Oh, we got, I got so a perfect. Got jo- I got a perfect. You got a perfect one. Perfect one, bro. Perfect. She, she so got- I want to do want to do a spinoff podcast. With with females, I'm not on it. I'm just probably do Hector's role in you know doing the behind the scenes. I want to be on it because <laughs> yeah, she no, goofs. It's, she goofs. It's, it's, it's strictly for the females. So if you got if you got a great idea and you look in and you innovative and you creative, definitely hit me up because we're looking to do a spinoff podcast for the women. Best conversations productions and I also another. I just want to keep spinning off podcasts. You know what I mean? So. You know what I mean? You can, you can have your shit at TMG oh, shit. and going so, crazy. So I, I got to get on my uh, Cedric Entertainer. I can't be on the show. Um, <laughs> People say no. Nah, not, the, the, not the females. Why not? I mean, maybe. I, 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 I'll, I'll tell right. Hey, it's just maybe. like, you know what I mean? Maybe, maybe, baby. Maybe. Right, cool, cool, Jay, man. Like, Rello, thanks for coming through, my boy. I'll be back, man. I'm back, Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming through. <laughs> I'm back, man. I'm Belma, back. appreciate you. You know it, man. Man. I tried to get to you at Dreamville, my nigga, and you was, my daughter was running like a motherfucker. Right. I was like, yeah, I got to catch up. Bro, it looked like we was walking on the moon, like right. a different planet. Because <laughs> the way this, the moon was hitting everybody, it was dark. It, bro, it, was, it was just crazy, bro. Dreamville, yeah. it's dope. It's a dope experience. You meet new people, so. Yeah, absolutely. I like it. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, new Future Flash, man. What you got going on? Uh... My birthday's coming up the 30th. Ooh. That's gonna be he going to turn up. Yeah. That's a movie. Um, and then my my studio, my, my actual booth and stuff is about to be finished in like two weeks. So I'm going to open that up. So there's going to be a lot more recording artists coming through here. And mm. um, I think that's pretty much it right now. Besides the Ace event, you already know. That, but that's next year. So we'll talk about that later. Um, but that's it, man. Shout out to y'all. Absolutely. Always doing some great content. Absolutely. On back like cook crack. All right. Hey, that's what's up, man. Bro, we going viral again. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody got no oak boots on the day, right. <laughs> Got the damn Air Max on. Air Max 90s on your ass. Bro. Absolutely, man. Best Conversations Podcast, man. We thank y'all for constantly fucking with us and, and rocking with us. I thank y'all. The viewers, the viewership keeps going up, keep going right. up, keep going up, keep going up. And then every time we throw Bam in the mix, then that shit just go. <laughs> so uh um, always coming with some crazy shit. Right. So uh um, thank out. y'all, man. Seriously, thank y'all for watching. And, and I got thick skin, so I man, the funny comments don't bother me. Right. Keep them coming. Shout out to the Bam fam. Yeah, shout out to the Bam fam, right. man. But we talk <laughs> shit back, by the way, as y'all can see. <laughs> we definitely talk shit back. He's a thug ass nigga, man. I'm not a thug. Why they why keep saying they no thug, thug man? Ass nigga. Man. <laughs> All right, man. Cooler, man. Keep God first, and I promise everything else will work itself out, man. Best conversation podcast. Chip. Yeah. <laughs> that nigga's a thug. <laughs> 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 oh.